Welcome to the Fortitude Podcast. We are here with the new principal of Rock Creek Elementary, continuing our meet and greet sessions with Dr. Wayne Durker. Thanks for being here. No, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So you're coming into Rock Creek Elementary School, yes. uh, five or s four or five hundred kids. Uh, there's uh, just shy of 400. Okay. Yep. But uh, true or false, that's about the size of your district that you were working in before you came to us. False. It's a little bit bigger than where <laughs> I was coming from. <laughs> Tell us about where you're from, Wayne. Yeah. So my last job I was at Lonedale R14 Elementary. It was a rural pre-K through 8 district. So I was the principal of that building and I served there for five years as principal. Actually, it's where I went to school. So it was a big decision to leave. Um, but um, I learned so much there. It's a great place, and, and I'm just excited to turn to my next chapter uh, and serve at Rock Creek. And really, everyone has been super, super welcoming, and uh, it's just exciting to be a part of something new and something different. Now, you were appointed to the position a little bit early in the process, sometime last winter, right? So you, yes. you've gotten to meet some staff and yes. be around the building. Tell me about yeah. that, a little so joke. So I, I had a few opportunities. Um, I, I've got to meet with the entire staff. I also just got to walk the building, talk with teachers. I got to interact with the students. I had all the most adorable cards and signs, and it, it, they were super welcoming and adorable. Um, um, and then I also got to go, our PTO had a um, like kind of like a block party type of event. It was a, a new thing they were trying out, and I got to go to that one Saturday. It was a huge turnout. And the one thing I really found fascinating about it, just being in a, in a much larger district, is you know you have your little attendance areas, and to just have that that spot where everybody joined together and had fun and people brought lawn chairs and there was all kinds of fun events and it was great to meet families that way too. So I uh, got a lot of great opportunities. And more ahead as the uh, welcome back events are going to fire up here in a week, yes. a couple of weeks yes. and uh, kindergarten orientation. Yes. So you have a, a vast experience then. You said it was K through 8 that was in your building? Actually, preschool through 8th grade. All right. So we're kind of winnowing down that yeah. age group. Do you have an age group that is kind of more your niche? Or are you pretty, I mean, like, how do I say this? Some folks are definitely primary people, and yes. some folks are, you know, middle school people. Do uh -huh. you feel like you fit into one of those, or are you excited to have still a pretty wide range? Yeah. I, so what I would say is I had a background as a middle and high school teacher, and so when I got hired at Lonedale, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't know exactly what to expect. I, I, was, I was ready for, for a challenge and something different, and, and working with um, the young kids was an ultimate joy. And I said if I ever left a principal job and went back to the classroom, I would be an elementary teacher, <laughs> uh, just because I really enjoy that age group. Um, I love all kids all across the board, um, but I don't know anything particular, but there is no, nothing that's more exciting than to walk into a kindergarten room and see what's happening there. And um, you, if you are having a bad day, they will cheer you right on up. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly will. They certainly will, uh, yeah. Um, you make uh, connections through some volunteer work as well. Um, do you want to share a little bit about that? Sure, sure. Uh, one of the opportunities that I had the opportunity to do um, is be a part of the Franklin and Gasconade County CASA, which stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. Um, so these are vo adult volunteers that work with children that are in the foster care system. And their only job is to advocate for the child. So there's lots of different org uh, groups involved in the process of figuring out what to do. Should that child be placed back in the home? Should they, th should they receive permanent placement elsewhere? Um, and it can be time consuming. It can be a lot for the kid. And they just form that relationship with the kid. Um, and so that's why I ultimately love that. And then they advocate to, to the judge because the judge doesn't have the opportunity to build that relationship. So they can really be that centered adult. The other cool positive out of it is there's a lot of research that supports that kids that have a CASA are a lot more successful in their future lives um, and a lot less to go through some challenging uh, scenarios that might exist that they might be personally experiencing. That is um, amazing volunteer work. Uh, yeah. 
because every child needs champion. Yes, yes, exactly. It's, uh, it's something we were discussing before I turned the cameras on. Uh, you share a favorite quote with one of our other new principals. Yes, that was so cool to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Rita Pearson. Yeah. Right? So every child needs a champion. I thought that just... Yeah connected straight to that volunteer yeah. work. So I'm glad you were ready to share yeah. it with us. It's a TED talk you should look up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have to put a link to it yes. in the show notes. Um, a couple of other things I want to talk about have to do not with school at all. Sure. Yeah. I want to yeah. know what you're doing when you're not at school. Oh, a wide variety of things, really. <laughs> Um, if I had to say something, some things I really enjoy if I'm, if I'm not in school is um, one would be hiking, and I love to go with my dog. I have a miniature Australian Shepherd. He's about four years old, so taking him <laughs> on some hikes. I, I don't know. There's just something about I enjoy being outside in nature. Um, some summer activity that I really, really enjoy is just like float trips and kayaking, uh, that type of thing. Um, one thing new that I've been getting into, I won't say that I always love it while I'm doing it, but I've been really trying to focus on my health, and so I've been running. Oh. Um, so that that's kind of a new thing, but you always feel great after, just not, it's maybe not the most joyful experience during it. <laughs> you know, Wayne, I was so proud of myself when I learned the difference between walking and hiking. I'm not even going near running. Yes. So, <laughs> I do love that. I do love hiking though, because I'll walk a lot, but hiking is different and it, and it yeah. mixes up and then mixes up the terrain and you can feel the, the difference in your brain when you've encountered something new because you've been out yeah, on a trail yeah, instead of on a paved yeah. So, um, float trips though, hmm, greenways, blueways, you're, you're all over the outdoors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does Pup go with you on all those adventures? I have not taken him on a float trip. I, <laughs> uh, I, I, he does like water, but I haven't ventured that far. I don't know how, he, how he'd do <laughs> on a multiple hour trip. Yeah, it might get away. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Now, I wonder too, I'm going to do a little off the top of my head. This or that game okay. with you. Oh, I fine. promise it won't be hard. It won't be hard. But it does. I so I'm into cooking. I'm into storytelling, as you can tell. Yes. So let's see. We've already figured out it's not inside for you. It's outside. Yes. Okay. But when you're inside, is it watch sports or watch movies? Oh, uh, watch movies. Watch movies. Is it like sci-fi or is it a mystery thriller? Uh, more like mystery th thriller, All right. comedy. All right. Um, and yeah. then, okay, so then I guess the final trick question, not so tricky there, would be when it comes down to it, is it the movie or is it the book? Um, I, I do enjoy reading, but I do probably like <laughs> movies more. <laughs> I do, too. It's I don't know. There's, there's nothing more relaxing after a long day than just sitting in front of the TV for um, a little bit oh, on the yeah. couch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which is why so many of us have already watched all of Netflix, and we're glad that they're coming out with new stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, w when we wind up here... What should students look forward to on the first day of school? They're going to come in and they're going to have a familiar face because you yeah. were able to see them last year. Yes. But what should they be looking forward to? What do you want them to know before they get there? Um, what I really want them to know is that I'm really there to serve them at the end of the day. And I'm there to help them. And I will support them in whatever way that I can. Um, that I, I, I will fight for them and their needs and to help them be successful. Because I know that they all can be. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to, to work with a variety of students over the years and, um, you know, it, it's sometimes the kids with the most challenging situations that you, it is amazing to see the things they can do when they have a crew of people there to support them. So I'm most excited for that. I'll be a smiling face, a welcoming face um, for, for them at Rock Creek. So I'm, I'm very, very excited good. about that. And parents who need to reach out before the school year starts? They got yeah. the phone, the email, yes. and you're in the building already, right? Yes, ready to yeah, go. Okay. feel free. I've already had a couple, so uh, that's <laughs> That's, that's like a nice. good pop-in. Yeah, <laughs> okay. well, no pop-ins, actually, emails <laughs> or phone calls, but it's been nice, um, you know, getting to, to, to interact. We, we had a PTO meeting last night, so I got to meet and get to know some of those parents a little bit better and look forward to some of the exciting plans that they have for the students and staff this year. So. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'm looking forward to getting 
know you better and working with you as we move forward with the Rockets. Yes, so, very much. Thank, thank you, you so for much. allowing me, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Hey, this has been another Meet and Greet, the New Principles podcast. You can check out Fortitude on YouTube or on your favorite podcast app. Give us a like or subscribe and tell a friend. Thanks for listening.